Oh my god, I love it. You know? Knockout! Chat! Can I have your can I have your help? Can somebody help me? <laughs> you know, this is the number one reason why I lose. This is the number one reason why I lose. I'm letting y'all know that. I'm faultlessing, everybody. I'm faultlessing. Back up, climatize. Counter. Counter. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, that's what they say, right? Otashi mashes every wake up. Blah, 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 blah. That came out. As a button. That input came out as a button. That's how clean the input was, and it came out as a 2P. And you know, ASW literally told us they can't fix this or it'll bug the game's input system. This was not a problem in the last Guilty Gears. So let me let me teach you how to avoid this. Five minutes of education, because I had to deal with this about a year and a half ago when I played that first of 15 with Punk. Y'all remember that. What was the score? 15, 15, 12, 15, 13. And then I went to sleep that night and I had a dream. I literally dreamed the tactic to never lose like that again. So that's an IBFD, right? But you see how it has a button before it, right? You want to avoid that. Or that's what happens. Solution. Hold your two buttons and then press back. Hold your two buttons on wake up. You see, for years and years, I've been inputting FD by tapping back and the buttons together. That's how I use this input. Is that right? If you do it, if you are perfect, then yes, it's completely fine. Does IB push as far back as IBFD? No, IB is different. That's what IB is. You do IB when you want to keep them close. You generally do not want to IB Soul unless you know what you're doing. Soul is very, very happy when you IB him. It makes his pressure, like, make no sense. He can do 5k 2d, and it's like, basically gapless. So that's how Climatize gets me. So the best answer would be... That would be the best answer. But you see, I'm not a, I'm not a god. All right, the likelihood is that I'm going to miss the IB on 2D and get hit. Only FAB, you see that? I've been an FAB fanboy for a long time. You know what I liked about FAB? He would IB everything. So as I played more and more, I also became obsessed with doing IB in every situation. And Exerd, any Hotashi fanboys or fangirls will know I practically never ever use faultless defense and I IB everything. Is it right? No. The reason why I do it is so I can have super super high tension pulse when I finally turn the situation. Mm. It's a completely different mechanic in Exerd, but that's the reason why you would do it there. Any other questions about Kara FD? I know what to expect in most every situation. I have strong offense, strong defense. You know, sometimes I reach for the skies when it comes to dealing with certain things when I could just play more stable. But this execution yes, error is the number one reason why I lose. The reason why this happens to me so much is because I'm waiting for the opponent to signal their intent that they are going to do a meaty and then I'm going to react and do IBFD as an input. Whereas if I really wanted to IBFD, I would just hold down the button. But I would be committed to that one thing in my mind. And which I do often when I'm committed mentally seconds before the situation happens to do IBFD, not when I'm waiting for them to signal their intention. So if you are a newer player and you're learning to IBFD, hold the button and then tap back and you won't get a button. Why don't I just macro FD? It's the only button that is free on my controller for about the last nine years is L2. And L2 
is not ergonomic to press when you are a pad player. To do FD and IBFD while also doing other things, try doing this with your left hand and see how practical it is while also being reflexive and reacting to other things. Your, your grip on your left hand is not something you want to have moving around like that. Like this is something that is like supposed to be fluid and you don't want to be gorilla gripping your controller trying to use FD with the macro while also, well, I got a super, I got an air grab, I got a Flukio, I got a 2H, I got to do a combo. Well, L1 is way more ergonomic. That's like the start. The way L1 is on your hand is way easier to control. Okay, that's, that's a start. It would be much more likely for me to use FD macro with L1, except this is not the Guilty Gear pad player way. We usually have RC on L1. What about the DualSense Edge? Yes, indeed. And you know why that is important to us? Because it has paddles on the back. This is how we could use FD macro. This is much more likely to be aerodynamic and not literally hurt your hands trying to IBFD the correct way. The Victrix controller, you know, I actually have one. I actually had the Victrix controller. They sent me one. And I've been intending to do a day where I play with it and then give a review. But I have no idea what people look for in a review. So maybe I will just do it very informally. Mm -hmm.